不要停，感受奔跑的声音，清醉笃定。天不要命。倾听等待的心跳声，勇敢者的真心情，是迷途中最亮的星，照亮了未来和曾经。支撑着每一段路前行，生命中所有拥抱和相遇，云淡风轻，是归途中最美的心情。你的眼睛点燃了现实和梦境，云淡风轻。Remember that American guy, Bill, Bill something. Bill what? You don't know him? That computer guy, you know. Windows five, six, seven, eight. We're all developed by him. He's a billionaire. 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 Cool. But can I ask, what's that? Windows, whatever. Jeez.、Oh, no wonder Hutian always says you're a fool. Windows, Windows, okay? Yeah, Windows. Oh. So I become a billionaire selling windows. Well, well, they must be some pretty expensive windows, right? Of course, they're made of diamonds. You could never afford it. Am I right? Definitely. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So what's this, you dummy? It's a drilling machine. Didn't I just say that? Liu Bao, if you miss your parents, just give them a ring. All right? I don't miss them. He, he was cheating. Let's just stop talking about this. All right? Whether we cheated or not, I lost the game anyway. I admit defeat. It's all right. He threw sand in your eyes. I can't feel good about that. I don't feel good either. Put away that miserable look. You admit defeat, Sergeant. I didn't bet. You did. You made a bet the first day you joined the army. You staked your future and everything on me. Am I right? You thought I'd take you out of the village. So did your family. I killed the pig. Tweeted the whole village at a farewell party. I remember. Every villager said you were the most promising boy in the village. But I failed to give you anything except four stupid biscuits. What's worse is I brought you to this damn company. Only, only for the sake of a dollar. Sergeant, bullet is my comrade. He, he's an army dog. I can't think of any army dogs now. I can only think of the pig your father killed. I feel profound regret. I wouldn't have taken you here had I known this company was in complete disarray. Tell me, how many pigs do your father keep? Three. Then I know how much one pig means to your family. I'll let your father down. I'm useless for making you end up in this company, Sergeant. I wanted to come. All 
one of the sergeants in the scout company thought I was stupid. I know I'm stupid. I can't help it. But she didn't look down at me. And always helped me. Liu Bao, look me in the eye. You're not stupid. You need to be more confident. Let me tell you about what a damn place we're in. It's hell. But since we're already here, we must try to survive. No matter what others do, you and I must do whatever is right, okay? You've done a pretty good job. Remember, you're from the scout company. And you're my subordinate. Sergeant, I... I... I also won an army dog. Back when I was little, I had a dog. But... But he was just a mud. This company lacks everything. Especially... Hope. No worries. When there's a chance, I'll get you a dog. You have my word, okay? Sergeant, I... Enough. Now go to bed. Hurry. Faster. Man. Gutian, this thing is so awesome. Right! <laughs> Gutian. What? This is really good stuff. It's much better than shovels. That's kind of obvious. Do you know what it is? What? It's called the miracle of science and technology. Got it. Udian. Keep working. All right. Put your back into it. What's up? Huh? Come on, stop it. Go to sleep. Come on. Stop it. I've been here the whole time. doing that? Enjoying the moon? Yeah, enjoying the moon and scaring you. Well, you're even more scary than that ghost. Hey, what are you doing? I, I, I wouldn't do anything. Didn't you hear those dogs barking so loudly? There must be something wrong. I'm on patrol to see if there's a phantom dog. Huh. Phantom dogs aren't ghosts. They're heroes. Oh, cut it out. Those three dogs died because of the phantom dog, didn't they? 
super soldiers, son. Don't be superstitious. Take my advice. Stay away from that. I... I... Hold on. Phil, I want to show you something. What is it? for respecting rules, but I'm here on a mission. That's an official order. I was sent to Company 3 to look into the deaths of those three dogs. Read it. <laughs> I knew from the beginning. You didn't just come here for no reason. A soldier should always obey orders. You know what I mean? Is this it? Yeah. I brought it with me from my previous company. Oh, you've got some good stuff here. <laughs> what do you use it for? I had this bad habit when I was young. I kept leaving my keys everywhere. One day, <laughs> someone gave me this pair of cutters in case I lost my keys again. This way I could cut the door lock. Oh. <laughs> What kind of friend would be so thoughtful to give you such a nice gift, huh? <laughs> Stop asking questions. Anyway, now I'm lending them to you. Better not lose them. They've got a lot of sentimental value to me. Don't worry about a thing, okay? I'll only use them to break into the warehouse. I won't damage them with an axe. Doc, I'm telling you, when I find out the truth about the death of those dogs, we'll all be commended for our service. I mean it. There's another thing I don't quite get it. How long have you been here? More than two years. And you've never been in the warehouse? All this time? Even though I'm a ranking officer, I only deal with the dogs. Captain Long is in charge of administration. When I first came here, the company was basically falling apart. The top brass had either retired or found jobs elsewhere. Captain Long resented it. Called them spineless. Later, he made a strict rule and shut down the warehouse. No one dared disobey him. Actually, very few people stayed. They all thought it was pointless to stick around. Might as well go back to the farm. Well then, why did you stay? Because I'm attached to the place. Because there used to be someone... Someone here, extremely important to me. Who was it? My wife. Why well, your wife? Hmm. In Company 3? Why haven't I met her? She... she died. Oh, Doc, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to bring this up. It's okay. <clears throat> then, may I ask, what happened to her? Both of us used to work at the Epidemic Prevention Center. She was committed to her work. Two years ago in the summer, we had an outbreak of canine distemper. When she heard the news, she drove over right away. And also, when she was younger, she used to be a commissar in Company 3. She was really attached to the dogs there. It was raining really hard that day. The roads were washed out and slippery. She got distracted and her car hit a rock. The car flipped. And she was injured. I got to the hospital that day. She was still hanging on. I couldn't speak anymore. She just held my hand tight and looked at me. I knew what she was trying to say. I said, Honey, don't worry. The dogs are all fine. I'll take care of them. Don't worry about a thing. But she held my hand even tighter. And she started breathing quickly. She just stared at me. Her eyes wide open. I said, well, what is it? Is, is there anything else I can do for you? She opened her mouth. Squeezed my hand. I suddenly realized what she was saying. 
Sir. Oh, no, no. I'll go to Company 3. She nodded and passed. That day I made up my mind that I'd never leave Company 3 and help care for these dogs. That was my promise to her. These colors were a gift from her. I know she's still with me. She'll never leave this place. She'll watch over the dogs forever. One day when I die, my spirit will remain to guard my motherland. Even in death, soldiers live on. Even in death, soldiers live on. Doc and his wife, just like all the army dogs who died of old age, and all the fallen soldiers of Company 3, have absolute faith in these words. That's the way they see death. And though I'm a member of Company 3, I can't say I stand among them. How did you guys get like this? No, no time to explain. Where's Hu Tian? He just fell asleep. Don't wake him up. Where's he sleeping? Where is he? Over there. Come on, Larson. You, you, you wake him up. Hu Tian? What's with you, man? It's done. It's done. Done? Done. <laughs> what happened to you guys? Here's the thing, Hu Tian. We tunneled into the kitchen by mistake and busted the water tank. That's why we're like this. On your knees! <laughs> Idiot! Idiot! You worked through the night and still didn't find the kettle? You're useless! Wait, 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 wait! Don't hit me! I'm already this stupid! Uh, um, well, look, here's what I'm thinking. Neil! Well, it's not our fault that we mixed up the kitchen with the kettle. Yeah. This time, we'll climb up a tree. What are you guys ah. talking about? Is the kettle up in the tree? No, no, Hu Tian. We'll be there, not the dogs. We'll climb up there for a scout. Scout is important, right? Right. Scouting is important. I promise we'll get it this time. Yeah. Before you go, I want you to dig holes for yourselves first. Because I'll bury you alive if you fail again. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Now go. All right. Come on. At ease! Attention! Forward, march! One, two, one! One, two, halt! About, face! Forward, march! One, two, one! One, two, one! Halt! About face. Forward, march. One, two, one. Sir, we're, we're in trouble. There isn't any water left in the tank. How could that be? Well, we, we found a hole in it. Now the water's gone. Oh. What happened to it? Eh? What, what, where's my shirt? It's right in there. Hey, what are you doing? What are you looking at? Doc. Huh? Doc. Just prepare yourself. 
What's going on? Prepare for what? Take a look. What could be in the water tank? What? The tank's broken! How could it be broken all of a sudden? Sir, it was like this when I came in this morning. I don't know what happened. Was it an earthquake? Why did I feel it? You've got quite the imagination. If it was an earthquake, why is everything else fine? And this hole looks suspicious. This is so strange. Sir, my dad says when strange things happen, it has something to do with feng shui. <laughs> <Cut it out. laughs> Take this. Your dad was wrong. It was the Earth God that was behind this. That's superstitious. Hey, 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 hey what, are you, what are you doing? My shirt is down there. But you, but... It's okay. Hey. I'll just go down and check what's going on. Hey, 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 hey. Sergeant, be careful. Careful, careful, careful. Hey, hey. hey. I got this. I got this. Careful now. Sergeant. Sergeant. Go your down. I'm fine. Longshan Geo Prospecting Team. How? How could that be? There's no way they'd tunnel right into our kitchen. I'll go over and look. Hey, stay right here. Maybe you're mistaken. What do you mean I'm mistaken? Didn't you see the tattoos on those two guys? Hard enough. Liu Bao, you go and report back everything to Captain Long. The two of us will stay and stall them, okay? Go now. You guys be careful, all right? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, don't worry about us. Doc? Well, yeah. Let's go to these two guys. Okay. Grab their clothes. All, all right. right. <laughs> oh dear, here we are, here we are. <gasps> whoa, whoa, the kennel. This must be the kennel. So many dogs. <laughs> Who dare come? <laughs> is this a kennel? Sure it is. Listen, there are dogs. Oh there's so many dogs here. The gate seems solid. They couldn't escape, right? Right, definitely. <gasps> What's going on here? Hey, guys. How are you doing?
place called Beer. My dream. Yeah. <laughs> Larson, give me a hand, hurry! Don't forget Leo! Ten, we're fine. I need a hand here, take him to dress the wound! You guys, come fill in the hole, we're leaving! Tien! I've seen them too. They came around asking for water, right? I remember them. We go. Yeah. They're here. Out there. Let's go. How's your sense of direction? Sir, my sense of direction is bad. Uh, I'm from the northwest. I live in the southeast. Don't look back. Hope they recognize you. It's been an hour. Where are the reinforcements? Just have some patience. Ah. <sighs> I've been playing this game for so long that I fear nothing, except for dogs. I can't believe he bit me. It's okay, Hutian. Luckily, the wound is not deep. Gently, gently. Okay, all right. Leo! Yeah, coming. How's the car? The gas line was fine yesterday. I have no idea how it broke all of a sudden, you know? <laughs> Just tell me. Can you fix it? Hurry and fix it! In. We're on it. We're on it. Hurry, hurry up. No problem. Hey, hey, he's coming. He's coming, coming this way. Talk to the talking. Okay. Look at me. All right. Hey, you guys, hurry up and fill up the hole. Stop screwing around. You hear me? <laughs> what are you doing? Watch it. <laughs> Watch it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you all right, huh? <sighs> so dirt in your eyes. Go wash it out. Hey, get me some water! <laughs> what a stupid idiot. Larson, give me some water. Oh. Here. Ah. Just look at yourself. Chung. Lian Chung. Stop yelling. No one's here. Now what? Company's disbanded? Huh. <laughs> Not yet. Liu Bao just said some bad guys dug a tunnel. They all went to check it out and took their guns. They asked me to stay. Dug a tunnel? Yeah. What for? I don't know, but they must be up to no good. You didn't see how panicked Liu Bao was just now. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, Doc. Hmm? 
Mostly pleasant. Good thinking couldn't make gas stop. Otherwise, they'd have been longer. <laughs> now you think I'm smart? Come on. Think light. Those guys are really slow. Yeah, sure. Take your time. All right, all right. Put in. It's done. We can go any time. Hurry and pack up. We're going. Come on, guys. They're coming. What do we do? Guys, stop, stop. We're leaving. Oh Come God. on. One, two... Enough, guys. Doc! Let's go. Run, Doc! It's that bastard. Go get him. After him. <sighs> Idiot. Want the army to find us? After them. Hold on. Where are we running? Let's keep going. Hey, all right. <laughs> what took you so long? Who are those guys? The dog thief. Bastards. Doc, Doc, are you all right? Are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just slept. Dog thieves. Kill dogs? Stay back, everybody. Blood may splatter. Guys, charge! If I told you, you'd have run off, right? Koyodon. Hey, the captain's coming. Right back. What? Captain? Catch up! Oh, come on. Had you not stopped me, I would have caught those bastards already. Chang, it's not fair for you to say that, okay? If I didn't stop you, you'd have chased them, Definitely. right? Definitely! I told you they had guns. Listen, those guys ran because they saw they were outnumbered, not because of you. And you, Liu Bao, how is it you got lost yourself? Did you leave your brain behind? I'm sorry, Sergeant Guo. It's my fault. Gu Yudong, you're in no position to blame him. What's more, he's only been here for a couple of weeks. It's normal that he get loose. Oh, Benno, if I remember correctly, we came to this company on the same day, am I right? Plus... When we were fighting those bastards, where were you, man? Don't give me that long face, all right? I'm just trying to tell you so you'll be better next time. Got it? Cut it out. Don't you feel ashamed? There are only two rifles here. Huh? What kind of company is this? We didn't even dare to catch some thieves. You call yourself a soldier? I'd rather stay in the driving school. Better watch your mouth, okay? Listen, you don't know anything about Company 3. Motor Squad. Don't forget you're one of us. Well, exactly because I'm a member here, that I got you out of trouble. Look, man, had I not come to your rescue, you wouldn't be sitting here saving yourself. You would have been caught already. You just happened to be there. I didn't ask for your help. Excuse me? You're an officer. I thought you were reasonable. You can't be this ungrateful. How old are you, kid? Huh? When I joined the army, you were still wearing diapers, right? Attitude. right? You watch yourself. Enough! Sit down. So what are these guys after? Just the dogs? Here's the thing. I know a few of them. I'm sure they're working for Hawk. Hawk? He's putting his head in the noose. 
Captain, I think we should report the case to the Colonel. What's the point? Be it Hawk or Eagle, we'll wipe them out! Can't you just stop playing the hero for a sec? Shut up, man! Are you questioning my ability? I can show you what I'm made of! Quiet! Let Captain decide. Strength and night patrols. Check the kennel. Benno? Yes! Look into it. Yes! I'll report everything to the Colonel. Dismissed! even steal a dog. What the hell can you do, huh? Boss, put that away, okay? I can explain, okay? The thing is, we were outnumbered. We couldn't fight them head on. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Boss, you know what? Those guys are from Tiger Company. Tiger Company? What the hell is that? Leo, tell the boss. Come on! Hey! Boss, you haven't heard of Tiger Company? It's the best scout company in the country, with the most advanced weaponry in the world. They made it very clear that if we caused any more trouble, they wouldn't call in the police. They'd kill us themselves. I think they meant it. That's bullshit! They have no more than ten people there! Boss, it's true they don't have many men. But any one of them can beat ten of us, you know? That's right, boss. They're really, really tough. Trying to steal one of their dogs would be like a death sentence. They're really this good? Why would I lie to you? Am I right? Right, yeah, right, yeah. I'll walk you out. You mean that gang tried to steal my army of dogs? The ones that were ready for retirement? I have to say, I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> it looks pretty rough here. Must be hard for you. Sir, it's fine. I'm happy to be here. You know, there's no point in sticking around. Why are you so persistent? Sir, as Chairman Mao said, perseverance prevails. That works while fighting the enemy, not on your own system. Military reforms have to be enforced. You can't work against them. You know, we've had several meetings discussing the reforms. Company 3 will be the first to reorganize. Sir, we still have army dogs here. They're not happy here. Why wait until we cut off all your provisions? Transfer out. For your own damn sake. <sighs> all right. Think about it.
What is it? Why are you getting me involved in all this? You have to ask. The thing is, if you're here, it's an investigation. Without you, it's just a crime. I need you to be my witness to cover for me. I feel like I'm escaping. Get on with it. Captain in? Uh, yes, please. Wait a moment. All right. Get off! Hurry! Oh, good to see you, Captain. <laughs> Look, here's my name card. Um, I'm Zhao Guoqiang. I was transferred here a while ago. The Army Day is coming soon. Well, I know the conditions here are pretty tough for you guys. So I got some funds and bought some household appliances. Uh, I heard this company has a nickname, the Tiger Company. No, Mr. Zhao. This is K9 Company 3. Oh, got it, got it. <laughs> the chief is out for a meeting. He'll come back for a visit tomorrow. He'll also bring a few journalists. Uh, you better not unpack them now. Tomorrow we'll have a granting ceremony. What do you say? On behalf of Company 3, I appreciate your support. <sighs> well, you're, you're welcome. It's not a big deal. What's the saying? Um, soldiers are our heroes. <laughs> come, come. Young man, give me a hand. Uh, let's go. There you are. <laughs> Captain Long, this is the latest freezer. We won't unpack the rest of them. You guys, take these to the warehouse. Sir, <laughs> sir. Mr. Zhao, gentlemen, please come inside and sit for a while. All right, all right.
歌。